Mississippi John Hurts, I Shall Not Be Moved. This is a gorgeous little folk tune. I'm on my way to heaven, and I shall not be moved. It's a great message. I'm a Christian. I won't preach today. But, but one day I will. When I hit my million subscribers point, that's when I'm going to slide it in and start preaching to you all, dropping Bible verses on you. And that, that's it. This, this whole vehicle of music is um, to convert you. I'm only half joking, but I'm half serious. Maybe 90% serious. Am I joking? No one knows. No one knows if I'm trolling them or not. Am I trolling you or not? This is a Larry David moment where you, it zooms in on my eyes, then it zooms in on your eyes. Is he trolling me or not? Hmm. Mike's music method. For the sake of simplicity in this video, I will be only hitting one string with my thumb. But remember, John Hurt, almost all the time, I'm pretty sure in almost every song, I'd have to listen and pay more attention. On the second and fourth beat of every measure, he's hitting two strings with his thumb. And this gives it a really percussive sound, almost like he's hitting a snare drum, and it makes it feel bigger and clunkier and more kind of riding the train on home. I'll show you what I mean. So on a C chord, he's doing one, two. So when he hits that second beat, he's not only hitting that um, D string alone, he's hitting it with the G string. Gives it that rhythmic feel, right? One, two, three, four. Gives it more drive, gives it more weight, more energy, and you can really feel the song moving along. I'm, I'm playing a random song. I'm not playing that John Hurt song. But that's the idea. So if you're good at the one note thing, I'm, I'm doing it that way just to make sure it's really clear and clean and basic. But if you're already good at that, then from the get-go, practice making those heavy second and fourth beats every time with the thumb. Oh yeah, your grandma's gonna be so proud of you. And if you already lost your grandma, I don't have a living grandma, just know she's up there, she's so proud of you. She's so proud of you. Grandma up in heaven, I shall not be moved. Grandma up in heaven, I shall not be moved. The free formed intro. just kind of messing around while he you know he kind of warms his fingers up here it's just playing through some chords in the song getting his bearings straight um, it's a little simple F chord at the intro here normal F just you don't even need the lower two he's just playing a fourth first third first so D string E G string E that's his rhythm kind of off kilter there then he goes to a C chord, he hits um, the A string, then G, B, E. I kind of roll them with these uh, three fingers here. Thumb, index, middle, ring. But you can pivot your thumb down. Thumb, thumb, index, middle, if that's easier. Then he goes to a G chord, six string, and then um, G and E together. And then he just drums a C chord. So we have this, this F chord. C chord, G, right back to C, and then he begins the song. Beautiful! I've gotten a request to, instead of saying the sixth string, the fifth string, to use the actual note names of the strings. The reason this is, is because it's confusing. We already have finger numbers for our fingers, we already have frets that are finger numbers. This is all a dumb convention. I feel like it should be done another way. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to use the the note names when I'm talking about the strings, or at least I'm gonna try to remember to do this. If you don't know them, spend two minutes to memorize them. Ed, eight, dynamite, good, by, ed, right? Ed, eight, dynamite, E-A-D, good, by, ed, G-B-E. My like seven-year-old, ow, I kneeled on something. My seven-year-old students can remember this, so you can memorize it too. That way I'll just say string names and we won't get confused when I'm, when I'm saying too many numbers. Here's the first full measure with the one little pickup beat. We're on a C chord. Oh, John Hurt is also tuned a little bit flat, so if you want to match the recording, you're somewhere in between E and E flat, and, you know, maybe, I don't know. You just gotta down tune a little bit until it sounds right. 
So here we go, we have. So we have the pickup. I'm holding down a C chord the whole time. Pickup is on the B string. I'm playing it with my index finger. Then I have the A and the E together, thumb and middle. So. Then my thumb is alone on the D, back to the A. Then I have the off beat on the E string, open. Then D, B. Really slow, second, the B string. <laughs> These two together, A and E, D, A, E, D, B. Second measure. Still a C chord. I'm hitting A and E together with a thumb and middle. Thumbs alone on the D. Then I'm hitting A and B together, but my pinky is down on the third fret here. So pinky on that. B string, and then alone on the D. Make sure to have the pinky only at the last minute here. Next measure is a G chord, but my pinky is on, not on the E string, but it's on the B string, third fret. And also you don't really need your middle finger here because I'm never playing the A string. So we have this sound, sorry. So I'm hitting E and B together, thumb alone on D, then the B, one, two, and, E and B, D, B, one, two, and, that's the first half, second half is low E, high E, D, B. So the whole thing together. time to pinch it. Thumb and thumb and thumb and. So only the first beat is together. Together. Two and three and four and. It's never too early to review it, so let's do it. Two, three, four and. Yeah, two, three, four and. Yeah, so you'll notice on that C chord when you put the pinky down and then you move to the G chord, that note stays there from that second to third measure, right? So we have... Pinky stays there. So you really want it to sing when you switch from that C to that G, that pinky stays down on the third fret of the B string. On my way to heaven, I shall not be moved. On my way to heaven, I shall not be moved. And then, the next measure is easy, we're just walking, still on that G chord. We're, that note should still be ringing, but we're just doing uh, E, D, E, D, so there's a little bit of a pause. And then we go to... It's a pretty cool sound. So what I'm doing, you're going to need both of these threes on both the E and the B string. Some guys will play the chord like this, where they're doing these two fingers. I prefer not, I'm pretty good with my pinky, so I can just drop it, lift it back up pretty easy. If that's really a problem, I mean, there's no shame in doing this and changing your fingering so you can get snagged two of them. Uh, so here's what it sounds like. We have a pinch, E and B at the same time. We call it a pinch. Thanks, uh, whatever uh, commenter told me to call this a pinch instead of a together. A pinch, get it? I, I, I'll, I'll pinch you with my pincers. So the pinch on the E and the B string, thumb alone, pinch again on E and B, so it's the same thing. But then very quickly we're playing the third fret on the E string, so I just drop it down. Oh, it ends like that, sorry. So we have pinch, thumb, pinch, and thumb, and on the B string. Ding! Someone's messaging me. We have a pinch, thumb, Next measure is still G. So 
now we have to lift that pinky up and only do it on the B string because we have uh, the two E strings pinched together. I'm doing thumb and middle, thumb alone on D, then pinch on E and B with the third fret down on that B string. Pretty straightforward. Right, pinch alone, pinch alone. So those two measures together. sloppy. I'm dropping that down. I, I don't know now. I guess you could lift it. It sounds a little choppier and more staccato. You know what? I should have paid closer attention to the recording. I don't know that there is there's a live one, but I don't know if there's a live video of him doing this, so I'm not sure, but don't freak out. Don't panic. Take the liberty to see what works for your fingers. And if you keep switching back and forth, then get angry in the comment section. Be like, you jerk, you should have just told me to pick one and stick with it because I've gone back and forth and now I've confused myself and can't play the passage. So just pick one way and do it. Don't worry about it. You can figure out any way. It'll be all right. These next two measures, oh, what, what a study in simplicity, the beauty of simplicity. So we have a C chord, we go to a C chord. <laughs> Just, the melody just walks up. C, C, D, D, E, D, D, C. It's beautiful. It just goes up and down the scale. It's super simple. Let's learn the first measure though. So we have a C chord. We're pinching A and B at the same time. Thumb alone on D. And then the melody notes right back on B. Pinch to and. And then the second half of the measure is just uh, thumb again on A. Melody notes on the B string, but the pinky is down on the third fret, and then thumb alone. So it's just this three and four, three and four, A B D. So the whole measure together. Then it goes right into the next measure. We have a pinch on A and E, so open on the high E. Thumb alone, and then the ands on the E again. First half of that measure. One, two, and. Then the second half is A string with your thumb, B string with your index, but my pinky's down. Thumb on the D, and then melody note again on this on the B string, but it's the first fret this time. So that second half of the measure is of C together with that beautiful ascending and descending melody. Really neat. Two, three, four. Like a tree that's planted by the water. I don't understand that lyric. Wouldn't the tree by the water be moved? The flowing water would like mess up the roots and the tree would fall down. I don't get your metaphor, John Hurt. You're confusing me. <laughs> You're confusing me. Now we go to an F chord. My thumb is wrapped around to get that low F. And all I need is one, two, three on B, G, D strings. And we just have thumb, thumb, measure, we have a pinch on E and B, thumb alone, pinch again on E and B. Sorry, no melody the last time, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb. That's it, so those two measures together, one, two, three, and four, and pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, do da, do da, do da, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, really cool syncopation. Back to a C chord, fairly easy pattern here. I'm pinching on A and G, thumbs alone on D, then thumb on A, B, D. Pinch, thumb, thumb, and thumb, and that ends on the B string. Pinch, thumb, thumb, and thumb. It's 
first measure. Second measure of C is just pinch on A and B. Thumb, thumb, thumb. That's it. So those two measures. reviewed in a second let's go from the top nice and slow remember it starts on the pickup beat I'm not gonna do that free-formed intro I'm gonna start on that main melody so two three four to the G whoops sorry two uh, one two three four that aren't that hard. Here we go, we're on a G chord. They're all open, so we just need this uh, third fret here. We got a pinch on both the E's. I'm on D, E, and is on the B. Thumbs alone on D again, so just pinch. Pinch, two, three, and four. And then the next measure, we put our pinky down on the B string, third fret. Pinch, three, and four. It's the same pattern. measures together, right? I don't need anything on these two strings, they're open. Pinch on the E's. Three and four. Pinch, two, three and four. Here we have the cool Mississippi John Hurt turnaround. Oh yeah, it's what everyone's been waiting for. You've been dreaming about this your whole life, this turnaround. You're so excited, this is the moment. You've been dreaming of. I can't think of anything else to say. The moment you've been longing for. It's been in your dream since you were a little boy. Some boys dream of hitting home runs in the major league when it's bottom of the ninth, two outs, two, th two strikes. What are you going to do? Are you going to hit the home run? That's what kids fall asleep to. Not you, though. You're a different kind of boy. You're a special boy. You dream, or girl, I know there's some girls who listen to my channel, Olivia, um, but you, boy or girl, you don't dream about that. You dreamed your whole life when you would go to bed at night, you would listen to that John Hurt on vinyl and go, mm, one day I'm going to grow up and I'm going to be able to play that sweet Mississippi John Hurt turnaround and you would just imagine the crowd going wild once you nailed the lick. So I have a good news and bad news. The good news is that you're gonna nail this turnaround. You're gonna play it just as good as you played it in your dreams. The bad news is that no one's gonna give a rat's bottom. You're not gonna hear any applause. You're gonna be in your room alone. Your spouse is gonna yell at you. They're gonna say, dude, shut up. I've heard you practice that a hundred times. But you're gonna know in your heart that the 99 times you were practicing it, you never got it right. And that hundredth time you nailed it just as good as John Hurt. And no one's gonna know except you. Just you. In your heart, you're gonna know, between you and your maker, that you nailed that. You've been waiting for that moment your whole life. And you did it. You achieved it. So proud of you. I'm so proud. So here it is, we've got, think of it as two chords. We have the first half as a C chord. You got a pinch on A and B. Then you're doing thumb and, which was just D, G. That's the first half of the walk. And the second half, think of it as a G chord. And you're just doing E, uh, E, D, A, G. E, D, A, G. Thumb and, thumb and, so together. stagger how I move these fingers there to there just to hold that um, D string as long as possible. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Together, thumb and 
and I want that thumb to ring, so I just move this finger, thumb, and, then I move this one, thumb, and. Oh, I guess I kind of lied, you do have to lift that a little sooner, because it's got to be open. Then I lift there, to get that sound open. Wow, I just made that way more complicated than it had to be. Just move them both together, <laughs> no reason why you can't do that. C, two, and G chord, three, and four, and... I'm playing it wrong every time, see? This is why we rehearse, and this is why it was an aspiration and a dream of yours, because it is actually kind of tricky, but work on it, and no, 99 times. I, I'm not gonna go through it again, it was emotional, it was a beautiful moment, if you need to get inspired, just click, click that uh, J button on your keyboard to go back, you know, 15, 30 seconds, whatever, and just watch it again, be inspired, be... Let your spirits rise. It ends just like this. A C chord. Um, a, D, E, D, right? So I do have to move my um, ring finger up to get that low G, that low E string, I mean, but the note's a G. You get a third fret. You did it. Yes! There's only a couple variations, really just one that I'm hearing. I mean, some subtle stuff, but really not worth going into. The only thing I would point out is that on the top, the very first measure when he starts singing, um, instead of doing the beginning melody, he just hammers on the high E string. That's it, so he's just doing pinch, 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 pinch. Right, so the thumb's moving and he's pinching on a high E every time. And sometimes, but mainly it's just the first time. And then everything else is the same. But let's play it together nice and slow from the top. We're gonna do it together. It's gonna be beautiful, okay? Freeform part, nice and slow. We start on that F. To the C and the G chord. Right back to C. One, two, three, four, and. Pinky down, back to the G chord. You did it. <laughs> your dreams, right in your hands. Dreams do come true. <laughs> I shall not. I'm gonna sing this every time I get aggravated at somebody. On my way to heaven, I shall not be moved. And you gotta move the arms like this. So if a guy, next time a guy cuts you off and you're so mad, you're in your car going, oh, that punk. Instead of saying, oh, that punk, you just go, on my way to heaven, I shall not be moved. And the world's gonna be a better place, guys. We're gonna we're gonna do this to a better place. This way, 2020, into the future. Dee 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 dee. Change the world with this dance move. I shall not be moved. Let's do it, everybody. A global, everybody dance. Let's get a 10 million people across the world 
simultaneously on YouTube to do this for peace. Do this dance move for peace. Into the future, 2021 is going to be a better year for everybody. I shall not be moved. D D D D D D. Change the world on YouTube. D D D D D D D D D D. Oh my God! Who was were you doing it with me? I know you. I know at least a few of you were doing it with me. Yes. <laughs> Go play your guitar now. Remember, y'all, this is my livelihood. If you guys get enjoyment and knowledge and 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 fun out of these videos, um, please consider donating um, to my, just you can PayPal me a couple bucks, you can become a regular subscriber to my Patreon, whatever works, and I also do private lessons via Zoom, so you can sign up for those if you really want to improve the chops. If you can't do either any of those things, that's fine, just enjoy, keep practicing, have fun, share what you're learning with others, and yeah.